Welcome to another episode of LEGO Worlds. And in today's episode, we are doing another building. I was going to do something that's kitchen related, and this is sort of kitchen related, but it didn't turn out what I expected it to be, so it turned out to be something a little different. And TC Games did tease more about the LEGO Classic Space DLC, which was very interesting. They didn't really show much, just showed a few images of what to come. It was pretty much the same images we've probably seen before. And I think that's what they're waiting for is this, which is July 25th, and that's when we'll have actually new content to land for this game, which I am excited about. Which is in a couple more days, so... I will have th that to show you guys when it comes out. No word on any showcases, even though they said there was more in the works. So, I'm still waiting to s he hear about any new showcases. So today we will probably be playing in our sandbox mode, seeing that I have everything pretty much unlocked <laughs> in the game, except for maybe one vehicle, which I still want to go look for one of these days, and some of the stuff that sh should be com coming. Hopefully in the next update, which are rabbits, and I'm hoping the rest of the stuff that is locked up in sandbox mode at this time. We'll have to wait and see. Basically, I was loading the um, showcases to see if there was anything new. So it's going to take time for us to ca catch up to show the sh showcase. But that's how it is with this menu. And the reason I thought it could have been something new is because of the way it loaded, but apparently that wasn't the case. I didn't see no new showcases. I just keep flipping them around. <laughs> I have a habit of fli flipping them ar around, watching them change back and forth. So, so we're gonna go to a sandbox world, and we are gonna start building. And what I wanted to build didn't turn out the way I wanted it to build, so it ended up being something a little bit different. But it's fine. It, it's kind of interesting that I built it this way, and then the way it turned out made it more just interesting. It's like using your imagination, so it's, it's a f funny build. It doesn't take that long to make. It 
So here's my character. I'm gonna have a donut before I start building and dip it in my coffee. And there we go, we just had a coffee and donut. Breakfast is now served. Now we can get to building. So I'm trying to decide how I want to build this. The idea was I was going to try and build for you guys as a toaster. And you're probably saying, why a toaster? Who the heck wants a toaster? Well, I wanted to do a toaster-like building slash house. You know, make it a little different. And it didn't turn out to be a toaster after all. It turned out to be something a little bit better, I think. So here I'm putting up some walls. And then, I was thinking, like, I want to make it like a toaster shape. Which I think I had it going somewhat good. And then I'm just going to, you know, copy my wall. That way I don't have to do a lot of work. So here I'm going to fill it in a little bit. The idea was to make it, like, um, I wanted to make it to toaster shape, as best as possible, but it still came out looking like a building, even though at the end it is no longer a toaster. <laughs> This is a fun build to do. It's a quick build. I'm going to retry the attempt to make a toaster at one point. Or rethink how to make a toaster at one point. So basically, I'm just filling in the upper wall part. And hopefully, it'll give it some structure. Which I 
came up with other ideas for what I can use this type of build for. So I kind of messed up in certain areas, so I have to go and fix certain things. Like always, but that's the fun part about it. And then once I'm done with this side, I have to do the other side the same way. It does not look like a toaster, it looks like box, a box on top of a box almost. And I'm just thinking to myself at this point, what am I going for here? But you guys, I think, will be surprised what I turn into it at the end. So, anybody excited for the uh, Space Classic DLC? That will be coming out in a couple of days. And the reason I'm ex excited for it is because new characters, definitely new vehicles, but I'm hoping we get new LEGO pieces. I know we get a new Pugsy, which the Pugsy looks pretty awesome in the new color. And we get the characters that look like Benny. They're not Benny, but yes, they look like Benny. Everybody says, oh, it's Benny. <laughs> From Lego the movie. No, it's not. It's actually space characters. That can, the one can pass as ben Benny, if you want it to. Which I think it is pretty neat, because this Space character has um, different space outfit uniforms in different colors. So we get quite a few of them. I can't wait to try and get that neat space alien. And who? 
I mean, going to the moon sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm not sure how much exploring you have to do in the space DLC or if it's all up front like everything else has been. I'm hoping that there's either exploring aspect to it or uh, what, what things that we can do. I hope it's like a, I guess I'm trying to say I'm hoping it's like a level pack type deal. If you, if you guys know what I'm talking about. I mean, I already beat Adventure Mode, so I'm just doing Sandbox for now. Waiting for the next best thing. I do want to go back to Adventure Mode, try and look for that last vehicle. That people are saying is in the game, but it is one of the hardest ones, I think, to find. Well, another one of the hardest ones to find, um, which is the barrel boat. I think that's the only one I'm missing thus far. I know I'm missing some things that are in sandbox mode that I don't think are out yet. So hopefully when they do the next update, which I'm hoping is on the 25th as well, along with the DLC pack, I'm not sure when the next big update is, but I'm hoping they do, do the update at the same time the DLC pack lands, that way we can get the bunny rabbits. Running rabbits were supposed to be in the last update, but never got implemented into the programming, so... And showcases are a nice way to introduce new stuff to the game for, I would say, building purposes or character customization purposes so we'll see how they plan out this lego game so far this lego game has been a blast i've been having fun with it i mean i priced the Next night set the um, Killington's castle. The whole, whole entire set. It's expensive, but getting it in game though, that is pretty good. So I like the fact that I have the set in game because I can't go out and afford a Killington set even if I had the money. <laughs> Couldn't go out and afford it. Because it's expensive. So this is our building shape. I know it looks kind of weird. I was going to try and make a t toaster, but... It didn't turn out the way I pla planned it.
But this was an interesting build. It did turn out to be something different. And I like I liked what it turned out to be. It surprised me. I mean, that's the way building goes sometimes. Sometimes you have an idea. It doesn't turn out the way you want it to be. But you get something better out of it in the long run. That you wouldn't expect to be getting. And that's what happened when I built this. I'm not sure what my next build's gonna be. I never know what my builds are. I mean, I come up with ideas what I want to build, and then sometimes they turn out to be something different. Which is what makes this fun. I know you can build houses, office buildings, but I want to make things a little different. Or I try and make them as different as possible. Something that hasn't been done or something that pops out of my imagination <laughs> at this point which is what happened with this one so here I d thought I was going to build the um, part of the toaster where the toast um, goes in is was my uh, initial thought at the time and I'm thinking about how I'm going to go about doing this I'm still I'm still learning the different bricks and stuff T trying to fi figure out what I can build. I am trying so hard to st stay away from caricatures. I mean, I know a lot of people do caricatures. I know a lot of people like to do houses, buildings, and stuff like that. And I'm trying, I'm trying to make this a little different. I'm thinking I'm going to be doing Legos and just for now Plants vs Zombies to Garden Warfare as the games of my channel. I mean, I have other games in mind for for this ch ch channel. When they do come come out, I'm not sure on the other two games, but I did do the Destiny beta. I just wanted to see how people react to it on my channel, and I'll probably not be doing any Destiny for the channel. Which is fine. 
I will still be continuing Legos. I will still be doing the Garden Warfare game, which is plans for zombies. I still have two other games in mind for this channel. One of them I know you guys are going to like. The other one I'm not entirely sure on. So, it might be another. Just um, t testing subject. I like to call it. I it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have a ch channel, so I want to thank you all for helping me out and helping this channel out. You guys are the best. And I appreciate you watching my videos. As you can see here, I'm building, it's supposed to be a top of the toaster. It's supposed to be. Hint, hint. But the because the way the building's designed, it d doesn't look like a toaster. But that's okay, because it turned out to be something even better. Than toaster. Something every Lego city. Actually needs. I would say. And this build was fun. I wasn't expecting it to turn out like this. And hopefully my next build will be even better or weirder <laughs> depending on what I build. I don't entirely sure half the time what I build because you never know what, what you want to build. You just want to place down Legos and then you want to place down that Lego. Sometimes you just want to place Legos. And see if you make something or place down Legos and see what happens. So now I'm filling in the middle. Top of it somewhat looks like a toaster, but it also looks like something else. And I was thinking toaster, but then when I started slowly looking at it, actually, right here it could pass for something else too. I'm not gonna say what that something else is. Um, but. I filled this part in. Then I was going to change the c color to fill in the other two parts to make it look like the toaster's openings was what I was hoping to do. Well, that didn't turn out right either. And you'll see in a minute here what I mean once it's done.